meant to be Christian, that was a Friday. They believed that Jesus was still on the cross on Friday. And they called Jesus the Adonai who made the love him. So Jesus was still on Friday. So on the day that Jesus was killed, according to them, they called it good. So we want to ask them what is good about, what is so special about the Friday. That your beloved one was killed, and you still call that Friday good. You know, instead of you to call it bad Friday, good. Because your beloved one was killed, but you call it good Friday. We ask them why. They say because Jesus died for our sin. So now we are given the certificate to do whatever things we want to do. Because the blood of Jesus will wash away their, our sin. Is that the teaching of the Bible? No. Jesus mentioned in the book of Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 to 17, you know, when he told somebody, why do you call me good? There is no one as good as God. Only God Almighty is perfect. Then in verse 18 of Matthew chapter 19, he said, if you want to have eternal life, obey the commandment of God. He didn't say that I come to die for your own sin. No, obey the commandment of God. So the question he is asking, should a Muslim, you know, salute the Christians and say happy Good Friday or happy Christmas or happy Easter Monday? No, it's not allowed. Even some Christians, they don't agree with that. Some Christians. You know? But the goodness that is between you and him, the friendship that is between you and him, you know, uh, the good relationship that is between you and him, it can continue. If you have something, you will help him. But not to help him in celebration or in celebrating his own work religious festival because they originated from the figures. I do understand. But under some certain conditions, some certain conditions, some certain conditions that maybe may cause you to be harmed or to be persecuted or to be dealt with. I hope you understand. Then you have to hide your feelings not to show your feelings. I hope you understand. You can just try to control your, 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 how you are going to, maybe, uh, at this thing, maybe when he, even he invite, when he invited him, as you share the same, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the same, maybe the same company, or the same government work, or the same institution, and so many other things. So you have to use HITMA in such a way that you know, and uh, you, you, you will not drive him away from you. You will have to use what we call what? Hitman. I hope you understand. Uh, so we, you have to apply what? You have to apply wisdom. That is why if a Christian say what to you, Assalamu alaikum, you are allowed in Islam to say what? Wa alaikum assalam. But you are not the one to, to begin the greeting. But if he greet you with ah, salam, or wa alaikum assalam, Oh, 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 yes, ah, you see, yesterday we celebrated our Christmas, oh, oh, ah, well done, well done, well done, yeah. No, we say we approach him in, what, what, what should I say? You know, in, 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 in ferocious way, ferocious way. No, what did they do? What did they say? No, no, no. That is why some of our scholars, they agree that there are some certain things that if the Christian gives to you, you can accept it. You can accept it. That is under the issue of what we call uh, 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 this thing, interreligious peaceful coexistence. There's something that is not detrimental to the norms and values of Islam. I have a friend, is a is one of the chiefs of this high court, the chief judge of the high court, that his Ogar Pata Pata used to invite him 
during the wedding uh, ceremony of his daughter or of his son, he said, he said, is it allowed for me to go? I say, yes, you can go, go, go. Come down with what is in your mind. He said, because he, he, you know, da, 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 da. He, he presented some excuses. I say, okay, you can go and hang yourself somewhere. And that is the reason why some, when some Muslims die, you will see that some Christians will escort even the body to the graveyard along with them, with the security and all that. Can you drag them away? You can do that. So we have to apply technicalities in order to maintain a cordial relationship, interreligious relationship with them. And that is the reason why the federal government is able to establish what we call what? NIREC. NIREC? NIREC. I think we don't know the meaning of NIREC. That is Nigeria Interreligious Council. The, the, his, his eminence is involved, you know, the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria is involved. The Supreme uh, uh, Secretary to the Supreme Council, uh, Professor Oru Ode, is here also with some other Christians and Muslims. And most of the Muslims and the Christians, they were all educated. That they are there commonly to maintain peace and order, to promote interreligious peaceful coexistence. So I think we should not be, we should not Boko Haramai. <laughs> we should not be uh, we should not be too hard. Extreme. We should not go into extreme. I hope you understand. Even in the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is a hadith. You know, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is a hadith with respect to it. It's a hip hadith. The system of our Christian neighbors used to send milk, milk for us, and we used to accept it. And Prophet Muhammad invited the, 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 the Christian deputation from Nazareth, and they entered his mosque, and they even offered their prayer inside the mosque. And I watched a pastor where Sheikh Ahmed did that of blessed memory, Rahimahullah. He invited the Christian went into the mosque. You know, and he showed them how we serve and worship Allah, one after the other, right from ablution to prayer. You know, there was a day when the vice president went into one masjid in Kano, and he entered the masjid with his, with his shoe. That time there was a great rumbling. You know, and talking there, and there people were looking at it, and it became a controversial, uh, issue and other reasons, you know. So there are something that we should not tolerate, and there are others under the compulsion of necessity. We just have to be a factor which you can put explanation on it. If the prophet of Islam, somebody entered the mosque of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when Prophet Muhammad was there sitting in the mosque and he came to the corner of the mosque, inside the mosque, and he started to remove his ruler, he started to religion. Inside the mosque. And Sayyidina Umar wanted to harass him, Prophet Muhammad said, wait, let him. When he finished your religion, Prophet Muhammad called him, he said, there's not a peace inside the mosque, you hear? <laughs> Finish. <laughs> so there is stigma. That is why Allah says, Allah says, for that to show for the leader, you should not cause for a few things in Allah. Lest they should cause Allah. In indignation and anger without knowledge. Therefore, don't abuse or cause what they are worshipping. So they are risking in a religious peaceful coexistence for the promotion of Islam. Yes, that is just what I have to say, sir. I'm very sorry.